Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Work on the second phase of the John Compton Dam Rehabilitation Project, which involves the dredging of the reservoir and transport of sediment, is set to begin in June 2019. The announcement was made by Wasco's representatives, as well as the contractor who met recently with the residents of Techime Millet, Vanner, Jack Mill and Environs during a town hall style meeting. Project manager for the John Compton Dam Rehabilitation Project Phase 2, David Ferraho of Vinci Construction Maritime A Fluvial, disclosed that the suction dredge, which will be used to desilt the John Compton Dam, is already en route to St. Lucia from Europe and is expected to arrive at Podcast Trees by April 30th. Government's development plans for St. Lucia have taken shape with the National Integrated Planning and Program Unit, NIP. The NIP, established in September of 2018, is a newly formed unit within the Department of Finance. The unit's key mandate is to establish new evidence-based national infrastructure planning and program paradigm across all relevant government agencies. The unit was officially launched on Thursday, April 25th. The NIP unit will not replace any existing structure or agency within the government of St. Lucia. Instead, the unit is mandated to network with all departments to provide strong evidence-based assessments necessary for the justification and alignment of infrastructure plans and strategies to the country's national infrastructure priorities. As the cruise tourism market continues to expand, the government has identified the Castries City Tourism product as a priority for St. Lucia with targeted investment sites and activities aimed at making downtown Castries more pleasant and attractive to St. Lucian residents as well as visitors. The consultancy and design phases for several investment initiatives to revitalize downtown Castries has started. These initiatives include the redevelopment of the Castries market, the pedestrianization of William Peter Boulevard, the upgrading of sidewalks, works for the improvement of the visitor experience walking through downtown Castries and the boulevard areas, the beautification of King George V Park, including the botanical gardens, improvements to traffic and parking, and a facade improvement grant program for existing small businesses. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.